Yo, yo, yo. I'm in my house. Niggas try to pop me. I still got clips left. This is my gun. 45 Wilson Combat. Registered to me. I bought all my bullets around town. Dalvin Cook helped me purchase this gun. It all belongs to me. And they are registered to me. So, I know exactly where I bought them. I got the card I have them on. I have everything, so... Yo, so that was um, that was Everson Griffin from the defensive end from the Minnesota Vikings. He's bugging right now. Um, he's been on a mental health thing for a few years now. He missed like five games in 2018. Probably he's going to miss some time after this. Uh, released that video on Instagram and those text messages. He's like, somebody's trying to kill me. Somebody's trying to kill me. This guy is tripping, man. It's easy for us because now mental health is like a big thing. But 20, 30 years ago, if this came out, we just would have said, okay, this guy's on drugs or this guy is just nutty, buddy. I still think he looked a little bit intoxicated to me. See how big his eyes was, those big eye bulges and the redness in his eyes. Maybe he's just abusing drugs. That's what I think. I mean, because the, the paranoia, you sitting in the house talking about somebody's trying to kill you. Everson Griffin is a, what, six foot five, 350-something pound grown-ass man. I don't think anybody is trying, in their right mind, is trying to kill Everson Griffin. They got to be bringing a gun if they are. That's a big dude. Uh, I, I didn't like the fact that he threw Dalvin Cook in the mix and said, yeah, I got this gun. Dalvin Cook helped me get this gun. I don't know gun laws in the state of Minnesota. I just hope that Everson Griffin, for his case, is a legal, uh, has a legal, you know, license or whatever. He can own a gun because that ain't cool. And then you throw Dalvin Cook, who's in his prime of his career, you're going to throw him under the bus. He, he helped me get the gun. What? This is why you should never get high and then get on social media. I just think Everson Griffin was high. Not dismissing mental health or therapy or what he may need or whatever but he looks intoxicated to me i know when someone's on joke on, on that on that stuff rather it's that that booger sugar that nose candy that 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 mary jane them, them kendrick perkins the pills whatever it may be uh but you know they had police on site at his home just in case something crazy happens hopefully nothing like suicide or anything like that takes place uh, you hate to see because he seems like a cool guy. He's definitely a good player. Helped them with their pass rush this year. But, you know, these mental health issues, because sometimes mental health, I think, gets a little bit, I think they use that term a little too loosely, and we just throw it around. Sometimes it's not mental health. Some people just need help with other things that they're doing and putting in their body that's making them go crazy. You know what I mean? Like Calvin Ridley took a break for mental health. He just happens to be the Falcons' best receiver. Missed a whole month of football. He just was like, yeah, I'm going through some shit. See you. You know, like, you can just, I'm like, wow, at, the, at your job, a lot of com companies, you can come to your boss and tell them, hey, I'm having mental health issues. I'd like to take a leave of absence. They'll usually just, okay. You know, like, your mental health is being, some people are over-abusing it, I think. There are people who really do suffer, um, but some people are just using that just to, just to be using it right now. But... I don't know. That that video looked a little wild to me. <laughs> like, this dude looks like he's in his basement looking through the window, just freaking out. Like, <laughs> just paranoid. Big, bold eyes. Just, I'm like, yo, that, that it really kind of was uncomfortable. I'm like, what is wrong with him? What did he take? What did somebody put in his drink? What did, what, did someone turn him out to something? Like, he just don't seem like he's right. He's always been kind of a goofy guy. Everson Griffin, his personality, he's a little out there. Uh, but no, I, nah, man. Like John Randall was a little out there too as a player. But John Randall, you could tell that's just his personality. I never got the, 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 the impression that John Randall was under the influence of any drugs or alcohol. I'm, I'm thinking Everson Griffin is just on a drug binge. Uh, that's what it looked like to me. But they're calling it mental health and... Uh, Cops made their statement. The Vikings made their statement. I mean, there's nothing they could really say. He's, he's, he was wilding. He was bugging. You know, and you should never, if you are intoxicated or if you're having one of those moments, you should never, the last thing you should do is get on social media and, and run your mouth and just start babbling 
on and on and on because ain't no, no ain't no telling what else he was gonna continue to say. You already telling people Dalvin Cook helped you get the gun. Like, come on, Dalvin Cook, like, really, bro? <laughs> How you drag me into this shit? Man, get some help, man. Pray for Everson Griffin. Stay clean. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm out of here.